Yo, 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 guys, how's it going? It's Ravlar here, and welcome to the 10th episode of Pumping Iron. And, mate, this one is eventful AF, so make sure you keep an eye out for all the cheeky mishaps that go on. A couple of days ago, I went to see The Weeknd in concert, and, man, I love that guy so much. I've seen him so many times before live, but this time was something special. So I'll put a couple of clips of that in the end. If you guys are interested, make sure you watch all the way. And yeah, I really hope you guys enjoy this vid, so sit back, relax, and yeah, I'll see you at the end, boys. So let's start this vid off with a cheeky level. So since last time, I'd continue to stack up on some Divine Rock Tail Bubbles, so I could use them with my fishing brawlers. This time, we've got 92 fishing. Alright, a beautiful way to start this episode off. So it was around this time when a few of my friends had been getting Barrows dies, so I knew that, you know, I'd be the one to continue that streak, and I got... <sighs> my love. So if you guys recall, last episode, the rot hype was real, and I stacked up on a shit ton of malevolent energy. So what I did was I made two sets, so I didn't have to buy the plates and come back again to this place to smith them, and one of them I was going to augment, so... In order to do that, I dumped all the energy I got from my previous episode with a cash boost and got a shit ton of chargebacks. And then I augmented it, and yeah man, malevolent, full malevolent, augmented, BEA, beautiful, happy days. I wanted to level up my subjugation legs and my vertus legs because I just had some spares and I needed the components. And of course I went to my favourite place, Vile Lords and Vile Ladies, and yep, did it for an hour. Look at this beautiful loot, man. <laughs> and 450k defense XP, 185k prayer XP, and a shit ton of other yuties. This is why you do vias, man. In the next hour I did, I managed to snack myself a very cheeky farming level, 92 farming. Cedarside OPAF here. I'm getting like 85k farming an hour, which is dope. And yeah, man, Vile Lords for life. So, for a while now, I've been using this Noxbow, and this is the first dirt moment of this video. So, yep, I've been using it way over level 12, which is very stupid on my part, but sometimes you just don't notice. Yeah, but yep, gave it a cheeky siphon and got 107 invention. All right. I had a few outstanding bounties, and I decided to finish off leveling my Avertus legs here. So at God Wars Dungeon 2, like the invention XP is unbelievable. Uh, got up to level 10 and disassembled and got 16 Zaros components. Very tasty, more than I'll ever need, and it's going to make getting Impatient 3 really easy. Moving on, so yep, as being part of an Iron Man, you need to cook. It's a struggle, remember from that vid? Yep, you know how that shit goes. So yeah, got 98 cooking, really close to that 99, but yeah. These levels have gone really quick. So before I show you this next clip, I feel it's important to explain what happened. So I was killing Greg for like the second time on my own. And yeah, I only had like five or six kills before that solo. And man, I don't like this boss at all, like I've said before. So I kill Greg and I get a crest of Sliske, which is great, right? As soon as he drops it, his attack is still in the air, so his range attack hits me. And as it hits me, I die. So I see I get the drop, the drop's beaming on the floor, but I'm dead. So yeah, that really sucked. It was fucking hilarious, but at the same time, meh. I mean, it's a pretty useless drop. I wouldn't really use it for anything, to be fair. But still, that really sucked. And yep. <laughs> So I went back and I tried my very, very best to get it, but unfortunately, it wasn't there. <laughs> oh, my chest! I can't breathe! I can't breathe! Oh, shit! Oh, shit! My chest is gone! Oh. So I think it's safe to say that was the biggest derp of 2017. Wait, let me clarify. 
the biggest derp of 2017 so far. Yes, there's a long year ahead of us to make many, many more derps. Oh well, shit happens, and it was really funny, as Mr. Big Nasty illustrated, but oh well, never mind. In other news, I've been getting into clues, and yeah, didn't have any luck, unfortunately, but I've only done a few so far, so couldn't really expect that. And yep, using Alt-1 Toolkit, that really helps speed up the Elite clues, and it's like kind of getting into the momentum of doing the Elites, and once you're in the momentum, it becomes a lot easier and a lot quicker, but unfortunately, no luck so far. Another thing I've been doing is I've been low-key doing ports. Yeah, man. Bet you didn't think that I'd be doing that, huh? No, I've changed my mindset. Ports is important. I need them scrimshaws. So I got my first scroll voyage and I sent it out. And I was like, yeah, that feels good, man. Probably going to fail it, but oh well. Nice and easy. And I mean, you got to start somewhere, right? And hopefully before long, I'll be gathering a fat stack of ancient bones and I've unlocked the cruelty scrimshaw, I'll unlock the vampirism scrimshaw, and I'll be happy days, but it's a long journey ahead, fingers crossed, I'll be lucky, have some good RNG with the voyages, and it'll go really smoothly. So Def decided to play with me, and gave me another Greg Reaper, and I was like, you know what, I'm going to face my fear, I'm going to grab Greg by the balls, and I'm going to get a nice drop. But before I do that, before I face my fear, I thought, you know what, it's important to get max rep. So I was really, really close. I was like 400 rep away. So I had no bounties. But what I did was I just did some corruption blast splashing and I had the signia equipped in the pocket slot. And that picked up all the fragments, which meant I could summon the demons, which was really, really fun. So I could just summon them and I'd get reputation each time I did with Sliskate. And before long, I had managed to get max Liskelian reputation which meant I was ready to face Greg a new man I may have played myself last time congratulations you played yourself but this wasn't gonna happen this time no 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 this time I was gonna play Greg at his own game and guess what I went there a couple of kills in man got an offhand shadow glaive pretty damn useless I might disassemble it for caramining but that's not the point man I got, I got raped by Greg earlier. He destroyed me. I went back there, motivated, and I showed him who's boss. Just want to thank DJ Khaled for inspiring me, you know? I wouldn't, I wouldn't be here small. without him. So yeah, thank you, DJ Khaled. I appreciate that. You may say that I'm smart, but dude, you're the smart one. So thank you. Another one. Moving on, someone in the clan told me that if I use a light creature and use the scroll, the enlightenment scroll, I believe, and it really, really helps with Tears of Guthics and gives you a juicy chunk of XP. So I did that. And man, that was a good move. I'm going to be doing this every time I go to TOG the, from now onwards. And yep, got myself 74 RC. Very nice. So that level 74 RC meant that I was only one level away from getting all the wrecks to do the RD tasks. So I went to Runespan, AFK'd a bit there, got 75 runecrafting which was sick, which meant that I could use a giant pouch, and that meant I had all the wrecks to do all the RD Elite tasks, and yep, I gotta move on with that, and it's about time I actually did them. So yep, it'll help me make my farm runs a lot easier in the future. So yeah, I gotta move on with the tasks. I went to do the whatever ZMI altar task, emptied the giant pouch, made some runes there, then I cooked some rocktail on the Witchhaven docks, and then... What else did I do? Let me see. <laughs> yeah, I forgot. Oh yeah, I made a rune crossbow. And yeah, I did all of them basically. And got myself my hands on the cheeky XP lamps. Don't worry. I've learned my lesson from the last step. I will not destroy these lamps. And yep, yeah, I used them all on agility. So that's very good. And this cape, yeah, like I said earlier, just makes my farm runs a lot easier. Whenever I want to get around to doing them. So yeah, happy days. So yeah, last episode, the Rot's Addiction began, and this episode, it continued, and yep, the reward for the addiction paid off, like addictions always do. Just kidding, don't get addicted to things, it's not good. But yeah, got myself a cheeky merciless kite shield, very nice. So someone in the CC called Coaster Jr. was asking for help with a Reaper, so I offered to help him because obviously it just makes their life a lot easier at the low levels and you know it was always nice when someone helped me when I was that level 
And you know what? Karma paid off because I got a Dragon Rider glove drop from KBD. So yeah, very tasty. Now, apparently, there's a book thing called The Last Riders, which I should have picked up for the Master Quest Cape requirement. And everyone was like, no, dude, you should have picked it up. And I was like, I didn't really care. It's a book. Who picks up books? But yeah, you know, I mean, if you guys are triggered by me not picking it up, well, I'm sorry, but I don't really consider it a dirt because it's not something I ever want to go for. But nice to get those um, gloves in. Another unique to the collection. Back to Rots and I managed to get myself a Malevolent Shield, which meant I had completed the set at around 350 KC, which was beautiful. Very, very happy with that now. Yeah, man, Rots for life. Did I really say that? That's a bit cringy. I might take that out. Got my Sun's Beard to level 10 and gave it a cheeky disassemble and got 108 Invention. Of course, there's nothing to be unlocked because the skill is pretty broken past 99. But you know what? That's one step closer to 120 and I will take it. Did another full raid and I got, as expected, absolute rubbish. Mate, this lack of luck at raids is really hurting me. I need them active pieces. Why am I doing this for? Come on, man. I need the luck to come back soon, please. So while I was editing the last episode, I needed something AFK to do. So I went to the LRC and got myself 88 mining. So one step closer to them AFK stones, aka Saren stones. So really looking forward to that. It'd be a beautiful piece of AFK when I can just do some coursework and chill and get those gains alongside. So I had a Twins Reaper and I got a Blade of Avarice drop. So, right, if you guys don't know, when you turn on Camtasia for the first time, it makes your like screen go black for like three or four seconds. And I did that stupidly when the Twins had respawned. And yeah, <laughs> I nearly died again with the drop on the floor <laughs> twice in one episode. That would have been pretty, pretty dumb on my part. But yeah, got this drop. Not really going to ever use it, but it's a nice unique to add to the collection. Thank you very much. So now it's time to unfortunately wrap up the episode, but I've got a little treat for you guys. So we did a full raid and okay, two people in my team, not one, two people got the Yaka helmet or whatever it's called. Two people got the Yaka pets, which is amazing. So a huge congratulations to WHD. He's the guy who normally tanks for our team, and he's a really, really awesome guy. He hosts lots and lots of full raids in Iron PVM, so very well deserved. And of course, Range XP, he's a good friend of mine, and he always moans that he never, ever gets any drops. So hopefully this will shut him up for a while. So huge congrats to you as well, Range. And yeah, and I also got a actor piece on top of that, which is very cheeky. But unfortunately, it's time to wrap it up now, and I really hope you guys have enjoyed the episode. Some huge gains have been made. Some even bigger dubs have been made, arguably, as well. But yeah, with that being said, I really hope you guys have a fantastic week ahead of you. And of course, take it easy. Enjoy yourself. Relax. And yeah, enjoy escaping. Oh yeah, of course. And I'm going to be putting a couple of clips from the weekend, which I saw earlier this week, on. So yeah, enjoy that. Uh, it's bad quality, but you know what? It is what it is. Anyway, I'll see you guys soon. Take it easy.